Hello, Mike Rondo here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, tonight's video, well, first off, I was supposed to do a video earlier today, uh, morning coffee, but, but that got canceled because it's cool, it's comfortable in Rhode Island, um, and I slept in. And I enjoyed it because then my father came over and we did some stuff around the house and it was a fun time and uh, relaxing. And uh, I hadn't had too much planned. For the video. For tonight's video. But then. I decided you know what. This afternoon after we did all those chores I guess you could say around the house. You know we did some more cement work. Ripped out some bushes. Uh, scrubbed the side of the house with some. Uh, had like some kind of fungus on the side of the house. We scrubbed that down. So we did that. <clears throat> and this afternoon I was like, you know what? I'm going to have, I'm going to smoke a pipe. And that led into two pipe smoking sessions. And then now I'm on my third one. Uh, so it got me thinking, well, why don't you do this tonight? Why don't you talk, just have pipe talk tonight? And I might do this once a month where I'm specifically talking about pipe stuff, tobacco pipes. Um, because it's such a hobby that I've grown to love and appreciate in the past year. So I thought, well, let's, let's talk a little bit about pipe talk. Um, and part of that was <clears throat> before I came out to, uh, smoke my first pipe today, <laughs> I ended up going on tobaccopipes.com and ordering more tobacco. And I even got another pipe. Um, now I initially wanted to go to the pipe nook. But they didn't have the two ounce tin of the stuff I wanted. So unfortunately I didn't go through him, um, Eddie Gray. And I will next time because he's still my favorite. I love going there. But I went to my second favorite, which is TobaccoPipes.com. They have just about everything I wanted. And I went with it. So I got a few new tobaccos for a tin note uh, video that I'll be doing probably. I should get it. Let's say I ordered it today. Probably by Wednesday I'll have it, and probably next weekend I'll start doing a tin note or something like that. But in any case, and of course I got a, a pipe. I couldn't help myself. It kind of, I don't know if this has happened to you guys. And I know, uh, you know, one of George Bruno's older videos where he mentioned the pipe kind of selects you. And I've noticed, and he's kind of right on this, because as I've been looking for pipes... Every time I look or go to buy a pipe, something just jumps out at me with a pipe. And so that's why I select it. Like, like this one, my favorite pipe, the author pipe. Um, this is actually probably my favorite shape. So anytime I see something in the author shape, I kind of just gravitate to it and go with it. Which is funny because I didn't think that was going to be the case when I first got into this hobby. I thought, well, let me get my first pipe right here this one here like I thought this was going to be my my style of pipe like the Sherlock Holmes type thing and I like that style and this is one of my favorite this is kind of the same thing this is like a what a bent apple or something like that I, I forget all the names and stuff so I thought that was going to be my I thought it was going to be my uh my bag right I thought that was going to be my jam that didn't happen it ended up being this um and this appealed to me because it was the shape of the bowl is good. Like you get that, you can just grab it. And I love the idea that it's unfinished and I kind of in print, not that it's spiritual or anything like that. I know like, like, you know, if I were to pass on and pass this pipe on to someone else, I'm not going to be speaking through it or anything, but like, you know, it's got my oils and whatever. And, that I've smoked and used and it's in there. So I feel like I'm part of, like it's part of me and I'm part of it. Uh, my other pipes are not like that. Um, you know, corn cobs and a few uh, <clears throat> finished type pipes compared to this. This is unfinished, obviously. Um, so this type of pipe, if it's unfinished, kind of I kind of gravitate toward the, those. And that's why like the Morgan Bones pipe appealed to me. And uh, even the corn cobs, because you could kind of make it your own if you really wanted to. So, uh, but in any case, so this 
I'm just looking through. I'm like, yeah, that, that's a cool pipe. That's a nice pipe. That's an expensive pipe. And then I found unusual kind of odd. It's not unusual. It's a, it just it just caught my eye and, I'm, and it was reasonably priced. And I'm like, all right, I'll just add it into my cart and so be it. Um, but I did. I get more tins, uh, a few tins. Did I get anything? Uh, no, they're all new. So they'll all be different tin note uh, reviews coming up. Nothing like, I didn't get like Virginia Cream or anything like that. And by the way, obviously I'm in my 7LE unfinished uh, author pipe. And I'm smoking uh, Sherlock Holmes tonight. Which is funny because you'd think I'd be smoking it in like, I call it the mini Sherlock Holmes pipe. This one here, but this is a... Uh, Oops, that's not what it's called. It's something else. I, I think the Bent app, I can't remember with all these names and stuff, but you guys get my drift. You know what I'm talking about. So that got me into the mood. And you know what it was? Here's what happened. So <clears throat> today I got a delivery and I wasn't going to, I'll kind of talk about it. I wasn't going to talk about it because I've kind of mentioned it before. I got my mason jars, and so I got these today. I got eight of them. So I got all my other tobacco pipes. Uh, I mean, my tobaccos, tobacco pipes. I'm stumbling on my words here. I got all my uh, tobaccos that I had that were in the tins still, and I put them in, in, in the jars. And I had some left over. So I did that. I came out here in the shed, in the shed of solitude. I put, you know, Sherlock... Uh, I got my other, uh, <clears throat> the cobblestones in there, <clears throat> the black coffee, hot chocolate, and all that stuff. I put those in there, and I had three left over. I'm like, huh, well, I guess that means I got to order more tobacco, right? Exactly. But, I don't know if you guys recall, when I showed you my, my stupid little tray here that I, <laughs> I confiscated from my daughter <laughs> that I use, it's... It's not the most practical thing, but it kind of works for me. So, but anyway, I had a bunch of, you can see there's some tobacco in there. And, and uh, I call that the shed blend, right? So, you know, everybody does it. Like, we all do it. We all have extra that falls out and we kind of put it in a thing and put it in a jar. So finally I had a jar. I finally said, you know what? I'll take some of that and put it in there. And I did. And it's, it's right here. It's living down here. That's the Shed of Solitude blend. At some point I'll... Uh, I'll smoke that. I don't know what it's going to be. It's got just about every variety of tobacco that I have up on the wall is in there somehow. Um, so now I have two extra jars. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll go upstairs. I'll look. I'll, I'll find a few, two t tins. And I was going to go through the pipe nook and find uh, a few tins. And and that was it. But then I'm like, well, <laughs> I could. that didn't work out because he didn't have the tin that I wanted to try. He in the size, the two ounce size. So I was like, all right, because he's running out of tobacco. Like he's running out of things. I got another thing I want to talk about after too with uh, the pipe nook because it kind of inspired me to. I was gonna make two videos, but I want to make it one video now. So, in any case, I end up going to tobacco pipes, and I think I got four. Yep, I got four. Plus a pipe. So now I got to get more mason jars, right? Such a tough time to be alive, right? <laughs> so I did that. And then I came out here. I said, well, I'm going to read, read a little. And I'm going to smoke my pipe. And then so what I did was I came out here with my blanket fell and I'm like, which pipe am I going to do? You guys ever run this dilemma? You're like, now I have my favorite pipe, but I'm like, nah, I want to save that. Um, I don't know where I'm going to go. And I forgot I had the Morgan pipes, but then I opened up my, my pipe drawer here my, where I got my other pipes and I came across this little guy. I think it's called the little devil or whatever it's called. The acorn devil. I don't know what it's called, but I can't remember the name. I think it's a devil, something devil, I think. And all you pipe smoking guys are probably laughing at me like, you dope, it's this. 
And I'm sitting there, I'm like, yeah, I like smoking this when I got it. I love this thing. And I'm like, I, it's been hidden in my drawer here. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. I'm going to, because I tend to use the ones that are on my rack the most. But I was like, you know what? I'm going with this one. So I grabbed this, packed it, and I smoked it. I'm like, why didn't you use this for your little, your work pipe that you bring to work and, and leave in the Jeep? Because this is, it's slightly bigger than the one I use. Maybe that's why I didn't do it. But this bowl, I like grabbing this bowl. It's like a mini, it's kind of, well, I mean, it's kind of, I feel like I get, it's like a mini one of the country gentlemen, sort of, like, like it's like, almost like that. But in any case, I like the grip that I get with it. And I think that little bend right there where it goes forward gives you that, that thumb grip that I like, like holding it like that. So I smoked this one and... I was using this when I was reading my book and this is like a I don't know maybe 30 minutes probably less of a smoke and it took me longer because I was reading my book so and I put the uh, hot chocolate in there it was a great great experience and so I did that and I was like all right just chill for a little bit I relaxed and then I'm like I feel like having another maybe an hour goes by or whatever and I was just kind of out in the yard and then I'm like I feel like having another so what did I do I came back and I said I gotta get the the author pipe the Morgan Bones author pipe I gotta break this in and I gotta get I gotta get some color on it right I gotta get my hands on it get my oils on that and start colorizing it so we can see where it's like when it comes to this like we'll see in a year from now how dark that gets because this is getting pretty dark to be honest yep, went out so I did that and then uh, obviously I was coming out here again tonight so I'm like well I want to have three <laughs> I originally had planned to have a cigar tonight and just talk about uh, some more stuff I found in a book and I was like you know what I did that last night. I did the book report thing. And I know that's not everyone's cup of tea because, well, I lost two, subs two subscribers. I was crushed. I'm only kidding. I get it. I'm not for everybody. So now I'm down to 66 subscribers, which is funny because it's a Star Wars reference, really. Uh, order 66. So it's kind of fitting. So... It's been a pipe-filled day for me, or afternoon and evening. Yeah, I also cleaned this up tonight, too. I kind of got the pipe uh, cleaner in there, cleaned it out, and it's smoking pretty good. As always. This is like my Ferrari of my pipes. I know it's funny because um, this pipe is... It reminds me of like, you know, Indiana Jones in the Last Crusade where the, the Nazis are going through looking for the, the chalice and they pick the fancy one and it's great all, oh, but they turn, you know, they melt. Um, uh, this is like that. It's like the carpenter's cup. It's like the wooden cup that no one would suspect and it's a great smoke and... It's just perfect. My faithful friend here. Um, but what else? What did I... Uh, what did I do? Yeah, so... And anyway, but these jars... The jars I got... Oops, sorry about that. I didn't mean to hit you. Hit my microphone like that and make a noise. But these jars are a little different than the normal. I don't know if you can see it because it's... You know, it's just got the, the, the name on it. It doesn't... Be, these other ones have uh, measurement, measurements right here. This one does not, which is fine. I don't really care. An a eight ounce, a eight ounce, uh, a two ounce tin, whatever the hell it is, fits in here pretty good. So you could probably, you know, so that's all I need it for. But I noticed it's hard to get the four pack, which is what I normally get. But I've gotten with the eight pack. That's a good choice because I. <laughs> I think I counted 25 tobaccos, different tobaccos, tobaccos that I have. I'm kind of getting a problem now. You guys must 
you guys got to understand that, right? That, you know, you get one, then it turns into two, three, four, and before you know it, you get a wall of tobacco. Which, by mid-October, they'll probably be going in the house and living in the house um, and not staying out here for the winter. So I'll have to redo this. But anyway... The other thing I wanted to talk about, because I was on Eddie Gray's site. Let me see if I can punch it up here. Uh, let's see. Let's get the pipenook.com. Sorry, my internet's slow because I'm still on my Wi-Fi and it's trying to... Here we go. There we go. Now I'm off the Wi-Fi. I'm good. All right, let's get... Go to shop now. Go to the tobacco section. This is in the tobacco section. And this is what he's... I don't know if you can see this because it's white. But he's got right here... The pipe nook's got a warning about the labels. Now this is something that happened to me... When I first got into pipe smoking like a year ago. I... Got the haunted bookshop. Hoping to get the haunted bookshop... With the tin without... You know, I just figured it was going to come and it was going to show... Well, I don't want to, you guys all know what the Haunted Bookshop looks like. But when it came, I got this stupid warning label at the bottom here. And this drives me absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. And I know in a couple of videos ago, one of my tin notes, my buddy JB said, you know, we had a little discussion back and forth about it. And I had mentioned... If the companies and I, I thought about it more like today because I was kind of I got a little eh about it because like the government really gives a crap about us, right? Uh, in your health, yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, so I kind of got a little in my head. I was having a, I was on a rant in my head. Um, and I was making funny faces, somebody, you know. And I got to thinking. I'm like, all right, how could you? Where we get both worlds are happy, where the government's happy and we are all happy. Because the tins to me are art themselves, right? Like these tins are pretty cool. Um, and these pictures on here are really appealing and cool. And now we got this stupid warning label on here letting us know nicotine's addictive, blah, blah, blah. Like we don't know this shit by now, right? Um, and I'm just thinking, well, what can we do to solve this problem? And I'd said to JB as we were talking back and forth in the comments section, what if they made it so the label that's on there can peel off and below underneath that where the tin is, you get the artwork that we want so we can hang up on our walls or, you know, whatever. And I'm thinking, well, is a company really going to spend the extra expense to do that? Probably not. I mean, let's face it, we wouldn't have 40 tins of uh, Haunted Bookshop unwrap them and, and whatever so it's really it's just one tin that you would get that would be like that um but i don't it's not feasible i don't think so unfortunately this is what we're stuck with um but i can't think of anything else i mean could they put it on the cover but i guess they can't put it on the cover they have to put it right here because this is where you would see it if you were in a shop right you would look at it at eye level you'd see this you wouldn't see the top of the the label i don't know I don't know how you could do it. I mean, if you could do it, let's see. We'll try to solve the world's problems right here, right? And the shit of solved. Ah, no, it's even on the back. So it's on the back, it's on the front. There's no place where you could really hide it other than peeling it. So like when you peel off the thing, this would all be the, the picture of the haunted bookshop with no warning label. I don't think they would do that because I think it's an expense that a company wouldn't want to do. I mean, sure, it would be great. I mean, would you want to pay 50 cents extra just so you could do that on your tobacco? No. Uh, you'd rather have them spend more on making the tobacco and blending it better, I guess, than making a label to satisfy my, my wall, right? So unfortunately, this is, this is where we are. I think uh, for me... I'm bummed out because I romanticized pipe smoking. You know, it, it makes me 
reminisce of, of the old days, so to speak, and in a good way. Um, and I think about the tins that they used to come in were very artsy, so to speak, and interesting. And these are pretty cool. I mean, the images are pretty cool. And and unfortunately, it's like the Haunted Bookshop and Gentleman Caller. They're going to look more like the Morley's Best thing, like a, in the Epiphany, where it's just a wording, right? Because God forbid if you have any fun, because the government will, you know, get in there and ruin it. Anything fun is always got restrictions, right? Man, Sherlock Holmes is a good, a good smoke. I love this one. This is another good one. Hmm. Good way to end this day, though, with another pipe smoke. <laughs> Now tomorrow, I'm going to try to do the morning coffee, and I don't know if I'm going to be doing uh, any tobacco. I might give myself a break. But, I don't know, you think it's a good idea once a month, I uh, do just pipe-specific content? I kind of think that. Because, you know, I'm kind of all over the place, but I get a lot of my... YouTube uh, pipe community that, you know, they check out my channel, which I'm very grateful. Uh, and I don't want to forget you guys because you've got my channel to where it is, really. So, you know, typically on this channel, there's always going to be probably a pipe of me smoking tobacco for the majority of the videos. I just might not talk about it, but I do want to at least dedicate something. So, I mean, I do my tin notes, but that's just the tobacco tin. I'd like to just kind of maybe talk tobacco shop, uh, pipe tobacco shop, if you will. I don't know. That's a thought. And I'm highly jealous. Uh, 2 a.m. pipe on the patio, a.k.a. Onion, because he's in Alaska right now, and I would love to be there as well. Um, fun fact, I got accepted to the University of Alaska Fairbanks way back in the day. I ended up not going for a bunch of other reasons. I'll get into that someday, but uh, I've always had a, an inkling to go to Alaska. Someday I'll get there. Someday. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for tonight. It's all the pipe talk I got. Um... Can't think of anything else. These uh, filters um, seem to be getting better for me. I'm, they're not as uh, I'm not having the the drawer issue, but I think that was more me than than them in the way I packed the pipe. I think sometimes I put too much tobacco in because I get a little um, uh, I don't know what the word is uh, excited maybe, and I put too much in. But in any case, that's gonna do it for tonight. Thank you guys for joining. I appreciate it, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow morning, or sometime tomorrow. I'll see you guys. But anyway, I'm out of here. Take care.